Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Final Frontier 2. I'm just making a few lenses for our ore miner, which will hopefully help us get a bit more uranium and fluorite. But obviously we only have the one laser drill, so I'm going to have to have it doing a bit of both. Oh, not that. Okay, so I've made enough if I want to ever just get a whole laser doing it all, but I only want two of them for now. And in here I'm going to keep one brown and one light blue. Because that will still help with diamonds and ancient debris. But I want a lot of fluorite and a lot of uranium. So let's just leave it running and see how it does. These away. But yes, that should hopefully help fill up these. And if you didn't catch the last episode, we made these two things to create the polonium and the plutonium, which I now need to process into pellets. But to make that, I needed like a, it was a single piece of HDP sheet, so I had to make a whole plastic making setup here just to get these HDP pellets just for one single sheet. But I'm sure I'll use it for something else in future. Just realised I need to do something with this waste oxygen. That's for another time. So if I remember correctly I needed a couple pressurised reaction chambers. So I need two, three, four. Three, four. Get into mechanisms, make a stack of these bad boys. These dynamic tanks. So from these they're going to come out here and go into these pressurized reaction chambers which need a supply of water and a supply of fluorite. If I just stick them straight on here, I think that'll be fine. Power can be taken from down here. Then the gas inputs on the back, yes, and this output on the front. Oh, yeah, it has got it in, and it's got it in here as well. And then we're going to need water, so we're going to need an end of tank. So if you have the water come in here, the fluorite come out the top, not that tank. Ender tank, this tank, this kind of tank. That machine, is, is there any chance I can put mute upgrades in here? No, no chance.
get myself some blue dye. Okay, and that's going to fill up with that. So now Now I need to get some fluorite dust in here. Which will obviously obviously need a crusher and then the supply of fluorite. There, does there happen to be a lava pool nearby to make my life easier? No, why would there be? Why would there be? How's it looking here? We've got some fluorite and uranium. No diamonds or ancient debris, so we've really, we've really hurt that production. But let's just leave it for a bit more and see how it does. Uh, I didn't mean to come through here. Let's go back. Crusher can go here and he can output on both sides. And then we need an ender chest. Oh, I did have some ender tanks. We need two of these. We need one for the fluorite and one for the output. So I had my fluorite on light grey, I think, didn't I? So have we got any light grey dye? One. This dye mix has actually been really handy. I'm glad I made this when I did. Probably put some speed upgrades in it though. Oh, I did not mean to do that.
I only needed three. I don't know why I'm making six. Trying to see if both chests are open, but I'm pretty sure that is the right one. I can test it actually if I put that in. Yes. Okay, that's the right colour. Alright, I'll come in here, get crushed, go out into here, and these will output from the top. And then how do I deal with the waste? This is already quite quite a lot of things going on here. Well, the waste is just going to have to come out the side and go down, I think. And just feed under the ground. So that's this is the level my power cables are on, so I'll do the one below it. Okay, I don't know how I glitched through into here. This is so weird. Right, but then... I'm just going to mine out this way for a bit. And this is where I'll keep all the waste. So I'm going to need some more pressurized tubes. sure the gases are outputting on the sides. Actually, I don't want to turn the inputs off. I'm going to need the inputs still on on the back side.
happen if I grab myself a couple of radioactive waste barrels. Stick them out here. They'll fill up with the waste byproducts that I will get. Okay, then upgrades, I'm going to need the five machine. Can this one take upgrades? No. So four machines. And this one can have gas upgrades, can't it? No? What about this one? Okay. Not that these guys really need speed upgrades because it's quite slow how the waste gets inputted, but may as well. I can afford it. So we've got polonium and plutonium. Now we do need a whole bucket of one of them to turn it into a pellet. That's going to take quite a while to build that amount up. But it definitely could be worth it. especially for making the mecha suit, which is something that I do want to do. Right, so the next step now is to make a turbine. So I think I might want to build the turbine in the base and just send the steam wirelessly over to the base. Let me just make sure this is all chunk loaded. I think it should be. It should be these four chunks surrounding me. Yeah, they're all chunk loaded. Yes, I need to do something with this steam. Clear off all of this. Okay. 
there we need rotor, rotor blades, turbine casing, turbine valves, turbine vents, um, structural glass. I've written down some notes of the blocks I'll need. I'll just see if just need to try and remember if I can remember what order to place them in. Rotational complex. Pressure disperser. Electromagnetic coil. And a saturating condenser. Now that's everything I remember. The turbine casings. Let's make a few of these. And I want way more than that. Just wondering if there's what if I am doing enrichment chamber of fluorite for six. Yeah there. So I am getting the best out of the fluorite ore that I can. Let's just see how much I'm getting. Only two. Yeah, that's not very good. I am getting diamonds. I've got one and a half thousand scraps, that's probably more than I'm going to need. Let's replace an extra light grey laser lens instead of the brown one. I'll bring the fluorite up just a little bit more. So with this turbine, not entirely sure what I am doing, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Okay, well let's get a little place to build it. Oh god. It's a lot of cows.
Oh, I don't think there's much space left. I, I do need to upgrade these, don't I? I haven't upgraded these in a while. I'll maybe do that in a little bit. But I do want to get the power sorted first. Uh, maybe I will build it over with everything else. Let's make it just a little bit bigger than the reactor. That's a nine by nine. Two. God, this is massive. This is probably way too big. Yeah, let's shave off. Let's do, let's keep it at seven by seven. Amount of steel again. Right, let's see how tall we can get it with the whip, because I know these blades get bigger the more you'll pile them on. Let's build them until they get out to the sides. Not quite there yet. God, I'm going to need a lot of steel. Come on, it is night. I think we're going to wait for 10.27 on the clock. There we go.
All right, yeah, that's right on the edge. So this is going to be my height. Right, so that's how high I'm going to do it. Come back in the next episode and we'll hopefully finish building the whole thing. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.